This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Uh, the title of this rant is, uh, He is a Smooth Calf Splatter. Uh, it's everyone else's fault but mine. Uh, so I hope that some uh, industrious people uh, with much more talent than me can come up with uh, a parody of the Chardet song of 1984-1985. He's a smooth operator and put it into he is a smooth calf splatter. Uh, that's from Dr. John Talmadge. Uh, very good Twitter accounts where he talks about the old tapes uh, and the dementia of this president day in uh, and day out. I also want to thank my sister Rose for turning me on to him. Uh, and basically, uh, this instigator of hate is a smooth calf splatter by quickly diverting attention away from him. So everything in terms of this coronavirus right now is it's everyone else's fault but nine. Of course, we have uh, China with the racism. Uh, we have Obama with the racism. We have the swine flu. I don't know, maybe racism there. Um, who else do we have? Uh, the governors. Oh, uh, yes, it's all the governor's fault. It's not my fault. And of course, we need to throw in Hillary HRC uh, and Benghazi uh, for good <laughs> for good measure, because that's always someone we can we can always club when they're down, so to speak. Uh, and again, he deflects blame so smoothly you hardly notice that that's what he's doing. Uh, but this is sick, sick, sick. And of course, there's new tapes. As we get into the election season, it's going to be on Sleepy Joe. All kinds of terrible things about Sleepy Joe. Again, there will be China, 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 Obama, 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 the previous administration. And this one, uh, which they're starting to roll out right now to see if it's actually going to work, is really the most egregious uh, and insulting one of them all, is that this president is going to start claiming uh, that the, count, uh, the death count from COVID-19 is not as high as they say it is. And of course, at the same time, we know that it's approximately 50% less because we don't know how many people have actually died from it uh, because we can't test these people. Another failure on his part. Uh, and so again, the blame game is that all we're going to see from this president, no leadership, no authority, no empathy, uh, nothing for the average working people, tax cuts, uh, and it's everyone else's fault, but not mine. And I'm really emphasizing here that the Democrats need to step up every single day, that this is a sick, demented, insane human being, and that everything that is coming out of his mouth and is an egregious assault to the American people, and that we have to vote this guy out of office. And a smooth calf splatterer he is, but there's so much sickness behind it, we have to get rid of this guy right away.